I told you that we talk about the biggest loser. We're gonna talk about hormones a little bit more. We're gonna talk about BMR, your basal metabolic rate, and we're gonna talk about the muscle gain thing, how this muscle gain thing happens, right? So let's first talk about BMR. This is another example of caloric restriction messing things up. There was a study done literally called the biggest loser study. They studied the contestants from the popular TV show, The Biggest Loser, and the conclusion was that literally zero of the contestants were able to keep the weight off except for two people, and they both had different circumstances. Like one had gastric bypass surgery, one did some kind of hormone replacement therapy or something like that, but they had to be medic they had to have medical treatments done to keep this weight off. Every other contestant gained all the weight back and then some. It's insane, literally. Like none of the Biggest Loser contestants kept the weight off. And here's why. So we talk about BMR. This is your basal metabolic rate. Now I say to you guys all the time, calories don't tell the whole story, right? It doesn't mean that calories don't matter at all, okay? There's still an energy balance in the body, but it doesn't tell the whole story because your hormones are, are vastly more important than the, than the calories themselves. But here's what happens, right? So you do this caloric restriction, and this is the reason why I never let you guys do your own macros. Some people are like, can you tell me how to calculate macros? I'm like, no, I, I just don't trust people to do it. There's a reason why I get the fantastic results that I get and other people who go to active.com and use their own BMR and try to do their own thing, they don't have results. I get results because I know what the hell I'm doing, okay? So I want you to understand this BMR thing. There's a reason why you can lose weight on any single diet in the beginning. I became a vegan for three months and I lost all this weight. I tried Atkins for three months and I lost all this weight. I did the zone diet for 30 days and I lost all this weight, right? You can lose diet on any, you can lose weight on any diet in the beginning. There's a reason why you can't keep it off. There's a reason for the roller coaster. We talk about the roller coaster, the weight roller coaster, the blood sugar, sugar roller coaster, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. The reason for it is BMR. Let me explain this to you. When you do caloric restriction, let's go back to the 800 calories of protein and brown rice, chicken and brown rice, right? When you do caloric restriction, the body adapts. The body gets scared and determines that in its environment, there is food scarcity. It literally freaks out and goes into starvation mode. It starts shutting down metabolic processes. Now you will lose weight initially because of this, but what happens is as you lose weight, your BMR goes down, okay? So the caloric restriction causes your BMR to drop. This means you're burning less calories just by being a human. Your basal metabolic rate has gone down. So now you're naturally burning less calories. So what happens is eventually as you burn less calories, you, you end up right here, let's say, right? So you end up a plateau. This is where a plateau happens, right? So your BMR goes down, your weight loss plateaus. Then, God forbid, you start eating more calories or even the same amount of calories as the body adjusts to this new way of life, which is starving to death. And as you eat the same amount of calories or more calories, your weight starts creeping back up. That's why your weight starts creeping back up because you're lowering your basal metabolic rate. You don't want to do that. You don't want to lower BMR. And here's what's hilarious to me, right? What's hilarious to this BMR thing is how often have you guys asked me about, I need to speed up my metabolism. I'm a 30 year old woman and my metabolism has slowed down. No, that's not what has happened, okay? So what you're talking about, you don't know that you're talking about it and your personal trainers and your doctors don't know that they're talking about it. What they're talking about is, it's not your metabolism that has slowed down, it is your BMR that has decreased. So caloric restriction and feeding every two to three hours is the fastest way to lower your BMR, which is literally slowing down your metabolism. So you think that eating every two to three hours in managed controlled portions, portion control, is gonna speed up your metabolism? It does the exact opposite. It shuts down your metabolism to a dead stop. Crazy, right? More mainstream. Again, the mainstream does zero fucking research before they tell you what to do. There's, just, there's no other way for me to put it. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. This BMR thing is why there are weight loss plateaus and gaining all the weight back. It's why the biggest losers gained all the weight back. It's why in the 32 week study I told you about, the people who did caloric restriction, they gain all the weight back. They have to. So what's incredible about fasting? 
does not lower BMR. You let the body do what it does naturally and it maintains BMR while you lose fat loss. What? It's like mother nature knows exactly what she's doing when you leave her alone, right? You can lose fat, maintain your BMR, so you're still just at resting, at rest in a sedentary position. You're still burning the same number of calories while you drop body fat. The calories just keep burning, 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 burning while you drop body fat. It's unbelievable, it's so cool. It's so freaking cool. I love, I, fasting blows my mind every day. And let me tell you about this. The reason why BMR, it does not lower BMR for two reasons. What do I always tell you runs the show? Hormones, right? Hormones run the show. When you fast, two hormones go up. One is growth hormone. I'm just gonna put GH. And then two is nor adrenaline. I know, that's a big word. Noradrenaline, this is also known as norepinephrine. You guys have probably heard the term. Norepinephrine seems to be used, uh, maybe I should have wrote norepinephrine, but it seems to be more popular. The two terms are interchangeable. Nerd talk, nor, noradrenaline is norepinephrine. So what happens is growth hormone and nor, noradrenaline both go up while fasting. So growth hormone goes up, noradrenaline goes up. Now what noradrenaline does, that is the one that keeps your BMR up, right? So this is the, res the one responsible for BMR. Now, if you ever heard somebody who did an extended fast, let's say a 48 hour, 24 hour, 36 hour, whatever, they go, oh my God, I had so much energy. My energy was through the roof. Some people complain that they can't sleep. They're having trouble sleeping. They're like, I had to get up and read a book. I had to clean my house. I had to do this. Like, I just have so much energy. I feel amazing. My mental cognition is through the roof. This is incredible. That's because of noradrenaline, AKA norepinephrine. There's a massive release of noradrenaline to keep your energy level up so you can keep burning the same amount of calories even as your body weight decreases because you're losing fat. Not because you're losing muscle, because you're losing fat. So your BMR stays the same. Now, I also said the growth hormone goes up. What's growth hormone responsible for? Muscle repair and muscle growth. That's what it's responsible for. So now you have a bunch of growth hormone that gets pumped out in your system. So when you break your fast, your body preferentially feeds muscle cells. You have a bunch of growth hormone, so you literally build new muscle because you were fasting. So noradrenaline, norepinephrine is released, keeps your BMR the same while you lose body fat, and then growth hormone helps you build muscle, helps you build lean mass. Guys, this is the ultimate freaking hack for body composition. It is the ultimate hack for body composition. Unbelievable, right? This is what I mean by caloric restriction messes all this up. It messes with your hormones, messes with everything, messes with the, the gas tank, messes with your hormones, and why fasting is incredible. This is incredible stuff, I'm telling you guys. This growth hormone, noradrenaline, norepinephrine, that's the big secret, the big crazy secret, right? It's unbelievable.